anytime you get to host is a huge advantage, and I expect our fans to travel really well if we can advance out off of our two games here off our home court. So, um, yeah, I think more than anything, I'm just excited and going to try to soak in the moment. And I know that ticket's going to be hard to come by. So, <laughs> Do you like playing the winner of the playing game like that? I mean, does that work in your favor or do you – I don't think it's I – mean, I don't it think matter? it's a huge, you know, negative or positive. It kind of just is what it is. You probably – Prep a little bit for both, and once you know your opponent, you you know go from there for whichever one it is. And our coaches have kind of been, you know, and our managers have been coding games like every possibility possible. So uh, credit to them. What's your, what's your mindset? You know, this is your last tournament, but you had so much success last yeah. year. Yeah. So personally, how are you feeling? About this? I think just understanding how long it was last year and how you really have to go game to game. You know. After you kind of get out of the first round, every team is basically a top 25 team. That's what you're looking at. And um, we were on the upset side of that my sophomore year. And then obviously we were very fortunate last year. And um, you need a little you need a little luck. You need a good draw. You need to be playing your best basketball. But um, I think the biggest thing for me is just enjoy every single second because this is like the most fun basketball. You heard me say it. Like I think this is the greatest postseason tournament in all of sport. You don't have it one night. You're out of luck. But if you do have it and you can string some games together, you can put, up, put a special run together. So... Um, I'm really excited, honestly. A lot of familiar names in the bracket. Yeah. What were you thinking when you saw all the pop-ups? A lot of familiarity, for <laughs> sure. And I think at times that can almost help you, especially when you're scouting for opponents, especially at times with just a day turnaround. And um, But at the same time, they're going to be familiar with you. But at this point, it doesn't really matter. Uh, a lot of those teams, obviously, we haven't played either beginning of this season or even in the last season. And, um, you know, it is what it is. And I think that's what makes it so fun, those storylines. and. Um, the familiarity, whether it's Colorado at the five, whether it's Louisville at the six, I think mm -hmm. they were. And um, yeah, I think we're just excited. It doesn't really matter who you're playing. You better bring your best because at this point in the season, you know anybody can get beat. Caitlin, so, you talk about how much basketball you watch, women's basketball, whatever. Have you watched Princeton? Have you watched West Virginia? Do you have any preliminary thoughts on them? I honestly have not watched either of them much, and you know I obviously check the ESPN box scores and yeah. see what's going on, but I can't say I've watched either of them. I know. Princeton's always very, very good. Um, their former coach that used to be there, uh, the coach actually that is there was my USA basketball coach when I was on the U16 team, Coach Baruby. So um, very familiar with her and how she coaches, and she's done a great job there. was at a D3 school before that. So it's about all I know about Princeton. She's had a lot of success there, and, um, yeah. You've maybe had a chance to let a one seed sink in since last Sunday. It was pretty firmly locked in that you were going to be one. Have you thought about what that means for this program, this history, for Coach Bluter especially, first time that she's been a coach to be a one seed? Yeah, I think more than anything, like, we earned it. I think, you know, going into those last two weeks of um, the season, whether it was hosting Ohio State on our home court or even the Big Ten tournament, you know, that wasn't solidified. We could have been a three through a one through, you know, a two. We could have been what, really whatever. And uh, I think we played and we earned it. And I think that was the biggest thing, beating Ohio State on our home court. But also we put together three really good performances um, in the Big Ten tournament and beat some good teams there. And, you know, I think Coach Bluter is – she deserves this more than anybody. Like, she's been doing this for a while. She's had some really great teams. And, you know, no matter what, you're just lucky to get in the tournament. And once you're in, you're in. And it doesn't really matter what your seating is, you know. You can't be worried too much about what, what number of teams got next to their name. It's you got to go out there and play. For some teams, this can be a, a stressful day if you're on the bubble or something like that. You guys knew you were going to be a one seed. Yeah. Is today just kind of the excitement of seeing who you're going to play? Or yeah. what's it like knowing that you were probably going to be a one seed? I think it's just the excitement of getting to see who we're playing. I think we've been practicing for a while now. Just like, you know, you don't really have anything to prep for. You're getting better at things that you want to get better at. Um, but now you can really start prepping for opponents and you know, kind of having a little bit better of a game plan. So I think that's important. And, um, yeah, I think it's – you always just have things, questions up in the air. But I think for us it's like, you know, we're just excited to get out there and play again because we've been playing such good basketball. It's, you know, we want to carry that momentum into this into this tournament. Obviously we were able to do that last year. And I think coming off, you know, a huge Big Ten championship, we're going to be able to do exactly that. Getting back to my earlier question, um, just as a competitor, so I want to this what, what are you feeling internally? Like? Yeah. Just what you did last year is so impressive. Yeah, I think <laughs> it probably looks a lot easier to people on the outside world what we did last year. Um, I think understanding how, how hard it is. Um, and I think just being able to go from game to game and really, you know, understand not every game is going to be perfect. You're going to have to find some pretty ways to win. And, 
I think the advantage of that is our team has done that in, in a lot of games this year. Is we've had experience, especially the Nebraska game. Is you know we really probably shouldn't have won that game, but we found ways to win. We're experienced, we're mature. We know how to handle late game situations. Um, you know we had to, we know how to come back from uh, deficits, and I think we've kind of experienced it all this year. Whether having big leads and losing it, coming back from being down, I think all those things um, will help us going into this tournament. And obviously having Kate and Gab and myself, you know we've been able to experience at least I've experienced four, Kate's experienced five. Um, of these together, so um, I think it's 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 fun for us, and you got to use that to your advantage. You know that knowledge and that experience, and not every other team has that, and you know we, we're lucky to have that.